So I just found the best wonder kit I've ever found on Football Manager. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is the video with the link up there. At least I think it's it's in one of these corners. What I don't talk about in that video is once you get that wonder kit in, what can you do to mold them? Now I've made player development guides before. I recommend checking them out. Same freaking process. Is this video just me pointing at corners? No, because there's something I don't talk about in those videos that I have started to use on my save and I have seen great effect already. It has to do with something you might not notice when you're just getting into Football Manager, and that's something called the player's personality. Let's check in on my boy, Sebastian Beaver. We've all got Beaver fever around Florence Dorfer AC on the Twitch save. He scored uh, two goals in his debut, another goal in the next match after that. He's now the youngest goal scorer in Austrian Cup history and in the Austrian top flight ever. And when we look at his personality, it's actually one of the reasons I signed him. He is fairly professional. He's level-headed in media handling style, which if you're using the Zealand skin, you can see right here initially. If you're not using the Zealand skin, it will be available in the information screen on the top left. Now, those are the two windows to show you what the hidden attributes of your player are. If you don't know what hidden attributes are, then surprise, all the attributes you see in Football Manager are not all of the attributes that a player has. There are a bunch of hidden attributes, seven of which go into the personality of a player and a couple of other hidden attributes like consistency and adaptability that you see pop up in scouting reports is this vague kind of, he's inconsistent. Beware! I'm looking for somebody that has inconsistency, and I legitimately don't think I have a single person with inconsistency on my entire team. That is team building. Whatever, the opposite of the <laughs> that. Now, the seven hidden attributes that will generally affect your player's reaction to events, ability to handle stress, and overall development are ambition, controversy, loyalty, professionalism, ding, 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 that's the most important one, temperament, pressure, and sportsmanship. That was not my first try either. Now, all seven of those combine in different ways to create in a vast variety of personalities and media handling styles. Now, if you wanna know what these personalities actually do for you, you already know where we're going with this. We made a guide about that. There are a ton of different personalities, but there are generally obvious ones that are good. Those being these three, model citizen, model professional, and perfectionist. The issue with perfectionist is that you have a high controversy rating, so that is less preferable than model citizen and model professional. But if you're at a smaller club, maybe you'll be looking for somebody that is resolute, that is spirited, professional, or just barely professional. Those are all good personalities for you to be looking for. But obviously, you've got a whole squad. You can't find people with this personality everywhere on your team, so you need to do something. When you sign good young players that don't have personalities like this, they have issues handling pressure. They have issues perhaps with consistency, which doesn't factor into personality, but you can also solve that with one simple trick. Oh, this is not that simple. I made a video about it. It's the mentoring section. Have you ever noticed it? It's in training, and then there's a mentoring section at the top. This is what mine looks like at Floridsdorfer AC. Now, I really am a little worried about showing this to you because this is for seriously proprietary information. It's the type of stuff that you might need to protect with something like NordVPN. Now, NordVPN's been a long time sponsor of the channel. If you don't know what it is, it bounces your internet traffic through somewhere else in the world for security purposes. It keeps you safe, especially on public Wi-Fi's, if you like to work at cafes, restaurants, while you're getting your coffee, while you're walking around in public, or while you're actually just at work, it helps keep you protected in those environments. Not to mention, I travel all the time and I use it just to be able to watch Netflix in the United States or watch American football or any sporting event going on in the United States that I wouldn't be able to watch because I am somewhere else. Like Vienna, for example, where I'm going to visit the actual Florence Dorfer AC who've invited me in to attend a match, and we will be making videos about that, I promise you. But I will be using NordVPN on my phone, on my computer throughout the entire trip to stay safe on the public hotel Wi-Fi, and to be able to watch my shows from back home. It's got a very easy UI to understand, and it's also got a great deal for you. You can go to nordvpn.com slash the link is at the top of the description, and you can get a two-year plan with an exclusive deal, plus four months free. And if that's not awesome enough, you do actually get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it. And if you find yourself not using it, no worries. But now that you have access to my proprietary information here with mentoring, what in heaven's name is going on here? Well, in order to find out, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> well, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to, though. That would be that would be cruel. We're not, uh, yeah. Is it even possible to do that? I don't think so. So in each of the four groups, there is one mentor and a bunch of mentees. The more mentees you have, which is the number of people that aren't 
aren't actually doing the mentoring, the more watered down the influence of the mentor is. So for example, in this group, Owen Vanderhorst is the mentor. You can see that from the estimated influence on the group and the estimated effect from the group is on the right. Now that's where you determine your mentees. And if you look over this entire screen, you do notice why mentors are able to be mentors and mentees are able to be mentees. There is an age difference. We have Bueller, he's 25. McStay is 25. Tiago Rodriguez is 25. Now, Greg McStay used to be a very high level person in terms of his hidden attributes. They've actually shifted slightly to the worst, so he doesn't have a good personality anymore, but we know his hidden attributes are close to having model citizen, and so we keep him there anyways. Where Bueller and Rodriguez have maintained their model citizen, and Owen Vanderhorst is spirited, which is another great personality. So they're old, and they have a great personality, and in Vanderhorst's case, they have the final necessary ingredient, which is being up on the hierarchy. See, the issue with players like Tiago Rodriguez, Greg McStay, and Timo Bueller is they're terrible. You might be sitting there asking yourself, why are these guys on my team? They were signed specifically for this purpose. If you watch all of my videos, you get a pile of all of my videos and you put them all together into a save, you end up with a team of a lot of young players. And those young players need to be molded or they can be molded to be even better than they already are. I signed Tiago Rodriguez, Greg McStay, and Timo Bueller by going to the scouting area. I went to player search. I cleared everything. I went to expired contracts, preferably do this in the summer when most of the contracts are expired and then you go to general in general you will find personality and on personality you can quite literally just put the best personality which is model citizen and find players immediately that are there the final filtering ingredient is going to be reputation it's like we have with vanderhorst the higher the reputation, the more likely they are to be higher up in the hierarchy and more respected and listened to by the younger players. That's world reputation right here. It's on a scale of 10,000. So if you put in 3,000, all of these guys are already gone. They're pretty bad. 2,000 though, they are all here. And ideally, if you do this in the summer, you'll have a much longer list or you can go to model professional or the other personalities we talked about. Now you wanna make sure that when you approach to sign them, they don't actually want any playing time. You find a contract that is acceptable for them. If they happen to be good enough to play for you, then I I suppose that's just an added bonus. And then you go into your mentoring and you look to add a group, create a new mentoring group, either name it the position that the guy plays or the last name of the person, Steve. First name that came to my mind, big win for Steve's everywhere. Oh. And we find say Max Dane, who is a team leader and a perfectionist. And then we sort by age and we see all of the people that might be potentially exposed to this kind of tutelage. And say hypothetically, Seth Yawan and Aiden Aerosmith weren't already professional. We could throw those two guys in there because they also have the ability to play at or near central midfield where Max Dane plays. And that's all you need. You just need two other people. You throw them in there. And all of a sudden we have average and significant infect from the group and a significant estimated influence. As players get older or get more playing time, they're going to start influencing the group as well. So you need to make sure you get to young players before they advance up. Xander Hinneman is the team captain. So even though he's 21, his influence is average in this group already. The same with Jan Trujillo, who is also an influential player that is, an, I believe, an important player when it comes to his playing time. Yes. Thanks, Brain. I'm gonna delete that group because I don't want a perfectionist tutoring because it will increase controversy and make players harder to deal with. That's a price you can be willing to pay because they typically have fantastic professionalism, which is the most important attribute for development. But again, I would check out the personality guide for a deeper understanding of how personalities work. Once you've set this up, try and make sure that all the players in the same group are in the same training unit. If you didn't know training units exist, welcome to the fun part. You get basically to decide whether your wingbacks or your defensive midfielders or training with the defense or the offense. If they're in the same unit and the players don't have an active dislike for each other, then mentoring should just be like clockwork and things like this will happen. Tempo Vivana is focused on his professionalism. Temper went up a little more controversial and likes to round the keeper. All of those are amazing to me. That's because he's being tutored by a per or mentored by a perfectionist and that's basically just what's gonna happen. He's gonna get more professional, but he's also gonna get more ornery. One word of warning though, player traits will be transferred through the mentor relationship. So if you have somebody that has a player trait that's mentoring that you don't really want, like plays with back to goal or drops deep to receive the ball in an advance forward, something like that, then it can be transferred through the mentoring group. So try not to set those players up together. The flip side of that is it can be a very efficient way to train traits that you do want. So maybe two players have the same personality, but you really want somebody to have places shots. Well, go find in the player search, I want places shots. You go find that in the player search and have that player mentor the other player. And it's an effective mentoring relationship they could learn it without you having to train it. That's the 200 IQ play. And if you want more 200 IQ plays, then this is the personality guide. And I'm not just pointing at a picture the third time. You can click on that 
and go to that video right now.